In the same way, like that's where we're sitting here in the recording academy, uh, an academy built to protect and provide for artists. And the fact that we're having the mental health conversation in this space, I mean, there's, there's so one, you know, anybody's watching this, anyone's here, there are, you know, uh, processes that, you know, all of the, there's organizations that are built for the artists and that you can find through the recording academy. Um, but the infrastructure, and what you speak of, of like with a SAG or an after is set up to where everything from insurance, I forgot plans, music, music you know, cares. I forgot to say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That there, uh, because as we know, not even just in our culture, but just in for artists, it's difficult being an artist. You know, what I mean, we wired differently. You know what I mean? And just this business in itself, where to be able to live your life to, just full of expression and your purpose to be to emote. That there's, a, there's some instability there. <laughs> uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. And that's what we're here to talk about today. And Blue, you said something super powerful. Um, and sitting in the Grammy Museum um, here with the Recording Academy to say we reward or award even mediocrity. In that sense, how important is accolades? How important for your mental health is to be acknowledged as an artist, to understand that your gift that you should be uplifted in the process of something like a Grammy being the competition, something to work for, something when you lose that night or when your project doesn't get nominated. I mean, boo, I know you don't lose. You don't got, I mean, I know y'all got several Grammys. I ain't got none. Coming uh, up, coming so, up, man. Come <laughs> up. But I mean, you guys have been on those stages. I mean, I, I have a vivid memory of seeing you, LA, and all of them, like all of Atlanta on the stage winning that Grammy of the year. But there's many times and many times that I know that you didn't get nominated for a phenomenal album or your artist didn't win. And it's devastating, devastating to a point so where it can be a detriment. And as we sit in a place that rewards and awards artists for their art, can we speak to that other side? One, how important is that? And what is the mental health? How do you check that when your art isn't acknowledged at the highest level? Um, so I, I'm 